outbreak in that country. Zimbabwe has declared a state of emergency and there were around 250 suspected cholera deaths last year. The number of people killed rising rapidly over the festive season. Well, now South Africa's health department is concerned that there will be a spread of the disease across the border with some Zimbabweans returning to their homes in South Africa. To discuss, we're joined by National Health Spokesperson Foster Mahale. Mr. Mahale, thank you for being with us. Uh, the first outbreak in Zimbabwe uh, was February. Uh, first, tell me the, the situation. Has there been cross-border uh, contamination, as it were, thus far? Good afternoon, good evening to you, and good evening to your listeners, and happy new year to you and uh, to your audience. Uh, yes, as the Department of Health, we've noted the recent uh, cholera outbreak in neighboring countries and its impact on the health system, and uh, we have uh, intensified the health screening services at the land, uh, at the port of entry, especially the land ones, in order to mitigate against the spread of uh, this disease. So far, we have not detected any uh, cases of uh, cholera. Uh, linked to the same outbreak uh, in Zimbabwe uh, in the last uh, few months. But as you know that uh, as people have traveled uh, during the festive seasons to different countries, as some of them will be returning back to the country, we have uh, intensified the screening uh, services uh, at the ports of entries. Therefore, also like to urge all the travelers returning to returning from cholera endemic countries, especially Zimbabwe, as uh, you have indicated, uh, because they're battling the spread of uh, this uh, disease, to be vigilant of uh, cholera symptoms and cooperate with the health officials and try to be as transparent as possible because if one test positive, we will not be uh, will not deny anyone access to the country uh, precisely because of a cholera status that will assist us as health officials as country in order